Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 2. Now this week, don't know about anyone else, but the weather has been gorgeous and now it is starting to cool down because that was summer, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> welcome to autumn. The days are getting shorter and honestly, I'm starting to feel it. I'm not saying it was normal to be like, oh, it's half night and I'm still walking in daylight and it's not cold. It's been lovely. And, well, I'm seeing people out with their winter jackets already. And I'm thinking, damn, how cold are you? That is 19 degrees. And you're like, no, I've got a bunch of... Who are you, Spanish? Seriously. Get out there. Enjoy the sunshine. Anyway, we have three things to talk about today. We are going to the ever useful Rich Dad Poor Dad. Incredibly helpful. Incredibly smart person who wrote that book. And then after that, we are going all the way back to Ultimate Side Hustles. Are you ready for that? I know you are. And finally, we are going to Soft Skills. Now, Soft Skills is a new series we're doing. Just going to be a little one, but I know you'll enjoy it. Just going to be something that's going to make your day and your life a heck of a lot easier. Now, as I said, uh, we've lost a lot of sponsors since the drop. And that's okay, you know, I understand. We, you know, we're not going to get the same numbers for a, for a few weeks, months. But I know you'll get come back to me. It's been a month. I understand that. It's difficult. But we're going to start building again. And you know what we get from that? New fans from all across the world. Let us begin with the ever-amazing Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, the cash flow of a rich person is basically, I need to picture your income statement, okay? On your income, it's going to say your rental income, which is for houses that you own that you rent out. You have your dividend income, which is money you get from your stocks and shares. Your interest, which is obviously the money you get in the bank, which is terrible. And finally, your royalties. Now, your royalties can mean anything from music you've written, the videos you've created, bits of content in general. That is your royalties. And your expenses. It can be two things. It can be your taxes, which, you know, you can't escape from them. And your mortgage payment. Hopefully, you'll escape from that quicker than most. So, on your balance sheet, it will, it will say that all your assets are creating money. Now, what this means is that your real estate's making money, your stocks are making money, your bonds are making money, your notes are making money, your IP is making money. Everything on an asset makes you money. Okay? Now, your liabilities are basically your mortgage, your credit cards, and anything that is costing you loads of money. And that is the way you should be thinking of, well, the way you want to be, basically, every person should own a second place that they are renting renting to someone. Some say it's best to own a property, rent that one out, and go rent somewhere else. That is up to you, though. I want you to think of the three ways of making yourself better, okay? And we'll be talking about this in subsequent episodes and weeks. The first thing, the power of the sword. Power of weapons in general, this is metaphorical weapons that you have at your disposal. Jewel, the power of money. Jewels at the end of the day represent money, that's obvious and clear to the eye. And what is going to push you forward to enjoy that money. And the mirror, self-knowledge. Knowing that you are self-improving will make you ever better. And... At the end of the day, will improve you. Now, what do you think of that, guys and gals? And there's a lot of gals, actually. 30% of the people who listen to this podcast are women. Huh? I'm so happy. I wanted everyone to be able to enjoy it, listen, and improve. So thank you for that. And now we're going to move on to our second part we're talking about today, which is the ultimate side hustles. Are you ready for this? I think you are. Hopefully, 
It'd be something that you can make money out of. Which is a valet attendant. Basically, you're going to be parking cars. Lots of hotels need people like this. The only skill you need is now to drive. There's loads of leads to get this. Honestly, it will make you a bunch of money. And you can take those cool Instagram photos of yourself in a Maserati. Or in my case, if it's a Bugatti Veyron. And that is beauty to me. The pay is anywhere from about 5 to 25 quid an hour. A lot of places get tips. And honestly, it's a fairly easy job. You be polite, you get tipped, you bring cars back round. It's all good. And honestly, it does make some money. Now, some places are more strict on what your requirements are. Height, sex, race, age. I assume it's a lot more difficult for certain people to do this. I don't think it's right. I think everyone has an equal shake and we should live in a meritocracy. But let's not get into the politics of the universe because we've only got 10 minutes. Anyway. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think you could do this job? Do you think you could make some money being a valet in your life? Leave a comment below. Please do, because I do love reading the comments, and there's not many of them, so please do leave a comment. Finally, we've been talking about our third part today, which is soft skills. I've separated this into two parts so you begin this one today and the next one in two weeks time that's good okay so you these five skills are going to make you and to be honest those around you jealous of you and considering that you're doing this to improve yourself that is a lot more than most people do personally i am sat on a bus two and a half hours a day now i could sit there being on tiktok and do whatever i like but i'm not I am currently learning how to drive, studying for my theory test. Yes, I know for those who actually know me, yes, it's a bit late in life. But, you know what? It's it's time, you know? First things first, creativity. You have to view a problem from many different angles. And what this means is that sometimes you've got to think of how other people think. That means you grab something and you manipulate your thoughts into how they would think. It's a difficult thing to do because you have to know the person you're trying to imitate fairly well. Second, teamwork. Now, this is difficult for a lot of people, but being able to work with others to move towards a common goal is incredibly useful and needed information. Third, dependability. This means you are trustworthy and reliable. Now, reliability is a difficult thing to do because at the end of the day you can't control everything like for example as i said i commute to work by bus i almost i almost miss my connection because there are idiots pressing the button for every single stop and then not getting off now that made me late well it would have made me late if i didn't run to the right stop in time which is not fun at 10 past 7 in the morning Fourth, assertiveness, confidence in your work abilities and able to express your opinions and contribute without seeming angry. Now, I have one of those tones that sounds fairly angry most of the time, but it's mostly emotionless. That's my philosophy. It's my problem, and I'm dealing with it. I'm not going to lie. The ability to calmly analyse a situation by being a problem solver is difficult because at the end of the day, we have about five different chemicals that control our world. And if they all flood into your brain at once, it's difficult to keep them under control. And breathing does help. What I recommend is that you stick your thumb into your first finger and press down hard because the pain of it will make you focus. Make you think, okay, I can do this. We've got this. So those are the five of the soft skills. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think of this new format? Are you enjoying season two so far? Are you sharing it with your friends, family, enemies? I don't care who you share it with. Share it with someone, please. We've lost a lot of people, and I want to gain every one of you guys back. Join some sponsors. I am still here, guys. Don't worry. I'm still putting out content every single week. And we are now on YouTube, which is great. Honestly, you put Learning Left-Handed into YouTube search, 
and it will come on up. Okay, so what did you guys think of calling it Ozymandias for the episode one? Do you like that? Do you think they should turn that into sort of a thing? Just turn it, name them after random things? Hmm. I think I'm going to call this The Bus Journey. What do you think? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it has been wonderful. And as always, thank you for learning left-handed.